There's always something going wrong. That's what this whole game is. It's like, oh, go do this. Oh, wait, that didn't work. So go do this now. Oh, great. That's nice, but it still didn't work. So go do this now. And it's just that over and over again. Um, this game has a similar plot to like Resident Evil 1 where you're just trying to escape. But too much shit keeps happening. For example... Welcome back everyone to more Dead Space here on Colorwind Beats. We are right where we left off, even though it's been a month since I've recorded this. And I have something else to talk about. But Isaac, I've located the shuttle Hammond found. <sighs> Shit. No good. That shuttle's brain dead. Someone removed the navigation cards. God knows why. There's three of them scattered around the deck. I'm downloading their locations. I can't access the doors from here, so you'll need a crew key. If you can find those parts, I think we can get that shuttle operational again. Okay, so we got stuff to do. All right, so a couple things to go over. One, um, there's nothing else I can do. Okay, well, what I was going to say was, is um, this is actually the second time I'm recording this because I did a recording of this episode and all of the audio was desynced. And it started off with the auto getting kind of glitchy, which you just heard right now, I think. So, hopefully that doesn't start up again. Um, but as a result, you might notice that I'm going to kind of blast through this part relatively fast. And it's because I've already done this. So, hopefully you're actually seeing this. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, it's been a month since I've recorded, and, uh, since that time, I've gotten a haircut, and I shaved. Um, it was nice having long hair. I've always wanted long hair, but, um, I think this looks more like me. I'm just, like, more used to how this looks than, uh, me with long hair, which is funny considering that I've always wanted long hair for such a long time, but that's just how I feel now. Um, but getting back to the game, I'm probably going to blast through this pretty quickly. Um, let's see if I could just make enough for one more so that I can have one more node to work with. Um... I need a thousand eight hundred. There goes the audio again. That makes me nervous. sell that because there is a thing before anyway of a pulse reference that I found around here just supply um, and I think I still have some money left right 700 credits. Yeah, isn't that enough to get some health? No, no, it's not. Hmm. Okay, I hope that wasn't a mistake. Alright. A Unitology article, United We Ascend? Is Unitology a new hope or just another scam by Carrie Van Otken? If you've been living on Mars for the past 200 years, you may have missed the fastest growing religious movement in history. Unitologist boasts, Unitology boasts a following of millions, counting counts powerful CEOs and officials in its ranks, claims 78 billion of stock in multi-global companies, and owns two of the Earth's largest financial institutions, GPSG Financial and Unitas Energy Investments. From its beginning as a cult of personality, Unitology has become a respected, established religion. Most people know the basics. 200 years ago, Michael Altman, a professor of anthropology, blew the whistle on what he claimed was the biggest cover-up instituted by Earth government. The discovery of an artifact or marker which proved beyond any doubt there is alien life in the universe. 
The government labeled Altman as a kook, but his claims struck a chord with some, and his mysterious death soon afterwards fueled that interest. Unitologists believe the marker contains a code, the key to eternal life, through rebirth and ascension to heaven. The kicker is you have to die first. They say the government is hiding the marker somewhere and keeping its secrets for themselves. Across all of human space, Unitologists praise Altman's martyrdom and await the day God comes to take them to their new life beyond death. It all sounds pretty harmless, but like any cult, there is a dark side. Unitologists are ranked in the church. Nobody ever talks about it, but most of its critics believe there are at least three ranks above the average believer, or initiate. With each rank, more of the church's inner workings and research is revealed to a follower. And these ranks are achieved by one simple criteria, giving money and power to the church. Think taking all your money's bad? The church also requires members to donate their bodies after death. Why? Why do they do... What do they do with them? Nobody will say, and attempts to infiltrate the inner circle have failed. With their emphasis on transformation and rebirth, maybe we wouldn't li like the answer even if they told us. One rumor that also refuses to die says the church is funding a secret shipbuilding program. Some claim to have seen the fleet. No documentary evidence has ever been supplied, but the claimants all say these mausoleum ships, despite their huge size, continue on P-94, and that's all of it. Hmm. Okay, more pulse rifle ammo. We'll save here. Hopefully everything's working well. I'm still getting little bits of audio glitches like before. Although I will say, um, that did you know this, but um, they're not as bad as they were last time. I recorded so I'm hoping they work um, plasma cutter and let's see what's this reload or damage we go with damage le damage um, yeah mm, we're done here What do you claim to when all must seem so utterly hopeless around me? That little cross was a truth. She had faith. And now she awaits her transformation. Her rebirth. Are you ready to ascend, Mr. Temple? Of course you are. Have no fear. You will play your part soon enough. Witness the conviction of a true believer! again man it makes me nervous In the door please money All right, let's do this. dodging me.
Jeez. Uh, there goes the audio again. Shits won't get off me. Sorry. Okay. Man, what the hell happened down here? That goopy shit everywhere. Very close to your position, and and I know you want to hear what I have to say. I can explain all this. But what happened? When you have the nav cards, I'll let you into the security station. We must talk. Hurry. Okay, so we gotta go talk to that dude. I remember him from the last episode, even though it was a month ago. <laughs> Okay. Ow. Hi. I don't want to die. Jesus. Okay. Whew. Those things are tough now. I remember like the first time I ran into those big old wall things that they were like not that bad, but now they're like really tough. Nearby to get through the door. Okay. 
It's always something. This is something else that I mentioned, I think, last episode. There's always something going wrong. That's what this whole game is. It's like, oh, go do this. Oh, wait, that didn't work. So go do this now. Oh, great. That's nice, but it still didn't work. So go do this now. And it's just that over and over again. Um, this game has a similar plot to like Resident Evil 1 where you're just trying to escape. But too much shit keeps happening. For example... tentacle Thank you. Hi. Okay. Go this way. Life support and climate system malfunction. Hazardous condition. Please contact repair specialist. Entering vacuum. Fuck! Dickhead! Life support and climate system malfunction. Hazardous condition. Please contact repair specialist. Yeah, I heard you. Got that guy that sneaks up behind you. Okay. Exiting vacuum. Okay. Life support and climate system malfunction. Oh, can't use that. Um, only have the medium ones. They give me enough space. One. <laughs> One. Fine, I'll waste one. Pick that up. Use it, have full health. Please use it, okay. 
All right. And we'll save. And I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. This is where I stopped the last episode, and that's where I'm going to stop here again. I know it's short, but I'm still getting those weird audio problems, man. And I'm worried that something else is wrong. So... If you are watching this and everything went fine, then thank you very much for watching. If you like what you saw, please like the video, share it on social media, leave a comment in the comment section, uh, subscribe to my channel, and click the notification bell so you're alerted to whenever I release new videos. If I do release this and there's just like slight audio dropping, kind of like what I'm hearing, then um, I'll see what I can do about fixing it because, I, you know, we're so close to the end of the game, right? Chapter 10 of, I think, 12. I don't... I don't want to end it like this. So, I'll see what I can do to fix it. But, thank you very much for watching. Peace and love, gamers and players. Hello and out.